<laughs> Watch him ask for a fishing license. You don't mind if I ask if you've got your fishing license, do you? Yeah, uh, well, I am. Uh, I am not fishing for fish. I am. Uh, I am magnet magnet fishing. I, you've stumped me there. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, it is firearm. So we'll go up here to the sheriff station, walk in the lobby <laughs> with the gun. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, you have a gun. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, um. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to San Andreas' Finest. We're rejoining Nikolai Kulikov as he goes uh, magnet fishing. He's being tailed by a cop right now. Maybe because there's a bicycle hanging out of his trunk. <laughs> In an awkward way. I don't know. But uh, we're going to the next location where he's going to fish. If you guys didn't watch the last video with Nikolai, I highly recommend you go watch it. It is hilarious. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun uh, to record and do, deal with the bomb squad and stuff like that. And uh, now we are uh, doing it again, but uh, just in a different place. So this will be fun. I don't know if this cop's gonna pull us over or not, or just this deputy, I should say. Could be a trooper for all I know. Oh, okay. I guess that was it. <laughs> Interesting. I thought he was... I, I honestly thought he was going to. That's right. Well, we're going to pull in right over here. There we go. And uh, we'll get our magnet fishing tools out of the trunk here. And uh, let's go with magnet fishing. This is actually not a good spot to magnet fish. It's too shallow, but I just thought of a place that would be good. So we're going to go up there. All right. So, yeah, if you didn't watch the last video, uh, <laughs> Nikolai found a grenade uh, in the canals down in Los Santos and uh, the pin fell out. They had to call the bomb squad. It was a whole ordeal, uh, but it hasn't made him give up on uh, magnet fishing because towards the end there, uh, he had found like two bicycles and then he met some guy who was on foot carrying a balloon and decided that after a conversation, he was going to give him one of the um, one of the bikes so that he, uh, you know, he, he could get around a little better. He was probably a homeless guy, but I don't think Nikolai realized that at the time. Um, and that was actually played by Duckman, which I did not even know he was in tonight to uh to patrol so that's awesome uh but yeah so we're out here magnet fishing and um we're just gonna see if we get anything else and uh go from there <laughs> the deputy pulling it up here. <laughs> Why? Because he sees Nikolai's car. Oh. Oh, yep, he's still there. Okay. I was like, damn, the other one came in hot. But he's going to a different call by the looks of it. He's going way up the road there. I see him way in the distance there now. <laughs> oh. I think it's a canine unit. I hear a dog. Watch him ask for a fishing license. <laughs> Probably gonna happen. Eh? Are you the owner of that vehicle, sir? Well, yes, I am. Oh, okay, I was just making sure. It looked abandoned to me with the, the boot up, but I didn't notice that you were over here. Oh yes, no, I uh, the the bicycle did not fit in trunk very well, so I had to leave it open. Ah, that is totally fine. 
You don't mind if I ask if you've got your fishing license, do you? Uh, well, I am. Uh, I am not fishing for fish. I am. Uh, I am magnet magnet fishing. You know, with big magnet. Oh, okay. I. You have stumped me there. I'm not gonna lie. I I uh, I do not think I need uh, license to magnet fish because you know nothing nothing I uh, pull from river is uh, anything anyone care about you know it's like uh, uh, I find like bicycle I find uh, metal pipe uh, you know nothing that uh, is endangered you know yeah I mean yeah you t you are right you are not fishing for game <laughs> you are fishing for well junk to be honest but yeah. Have you found anything here? This doesn't seem like a great spot, I'm not gonna lie. No, I not find anything good here, uh, but I was down in city a couple hour ago and uh, I find tool bicycle and then uh, I also find uh, a gren, gr, 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 grenade. I find grenade and I give it to police. I, I heard about that. Did you pull the pin on the grenade as well? No, it, uh, when I was pulling it off the uh, magnet, uh, I heard a little click and then a little bloop, and then uh, I think it fell in water. Well, you are a very lucky man, I gotta say, because there's not, a, I think there's like five seconds before those things explode, something like that, so. Yeah, I I'd, I'd had like death grip on it to make sure that uh, the, the little things stay on the thing so that it doesn't uh, go off, you know? Yeah, I do it. Um, well, you enjoy your magnet fishing. If you find anything suspicious, please don't hesitate to call us. Um, and have a good rest of your day, sir. Yes, you as well. And uh, same to your uh, puppy there, too. I'll tell him as well. I'll give him a treat from you. Oh, good. Thank you. Yes, you have a good day, yes? You too. Take care, sir. Goodbye. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. See, that's a cool interaction right there. I love a like really positive kind of like Elio interaction between a civilian and um, uh, you know Elio. I, I really find that a lot of fun. And I don't know who that was. I wish I did, but oh man, great, great, great interaction. I love shit like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. That, that makes me smile. You know, it's like. Every now and then you'll get like a role player who like really is like out there to jam somebody else up. Like they find somebody and they're like, ah, cool. How can I, you know, where's my gotcha moment here? And it, that's very common in, in 5M in general, um, you know, when people play LEO. And I'm not saying all LEO players are like that, um, you know, uh, but I do enjoy when, when LEO players like do cool stuff like this where they, they're, you know, very polite and, you know, uh, just want to make contact with you, see what you're up to, you know, if nothing bad's going on, then have a conversation and, uh, you know, carry on. It's great. I love that stuff. I love it. <laughs> more, more LEO like that. <laughs> genuinely, genuinely makes me happy. Oh, okay. I got something here. Let me pull this up. Ugh. Come on, come on. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, it is firearm. It is gun. Oh no, this is not good. Uh, I should go give this to the uh, the police. I think. Yes, I should go give. Oh, I wish I found this when that deputy was here. I could have given it to him. It's okay. I'll uh, I'll go bring it back. Uh, I'll bring it to their station. He will appreciate that I find this. Maybe, uh, maybe they need, they're in need of gun, you know, and give it to them. You can uh, clean it up and then use it, you know? Was a civilian. I think he just saw me walking with, or Nikolai walking with the gun. And he's probably gonna call the cops. <laughs> okay. 
So we're just gonna leave. Oh, that car was all fucked up. What the hell is that about? It was like scraping, like I had a bad tire and it's four ways wrong. That was weird. I guess the deputy didn't see the uh the gun in Nikolai's hand. I was gonna I was gonna just make it like Give it a minute to see if he would notice and then uh, get in the car, but he didn't notice it, so. So we'll go up here to the sheriff's station, walk in the lobby <laughs> with the gun and uh, see how they uh, they react to it. Um, I mean, any man just walking into your station holding a gun, probably not uh, going to be a great reaction, but I'm just curious. Let's uh, let's see how it goes. I haven't actually seen much of the interior of the station. But, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. <laughs> this is not, not the brightest idea to just walk into a sheriff's station holding a gun, but, um... Especially when he walks like that. There we go. What could possibly go wrong standing in the lobby of the sheriff's office holding a gun in his hand? <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Oh, you have a gun. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, um, can you just go ahead and set that down on the... Oh, yes. No, no problem. Here, I put it on the counter. Yes, yes. Can you do that for me? Sorry, I'm out with the bell rings. Oh, sorry, it fell on the floor. My bad. You're good. Hey, hey, where are you go? Oh, hey, oh, there you are. Hello. Hi there. Okay. Um, what seems to be going on? Oh, I uh, so I was out the uh, 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 magnet fishing, and uh, I found uh, I found that gun there. Okay. All right. Let me go. Um. I'll grab a detective. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sorry, I did not mean to cause a uh, stir. I just, uh, you know, didn't know what to do with it except bring it to you, you know? I, d I don't want to keep it. You're good. I just... It's, it's a little bit concerning when we see somebody walk into a station with a gun. Just, oh, yeah. yes. No, I, I understand. I just, uh, you know, I try to do the right thing, you know? Yes? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um... What? Oh, okay, goodbye! I think I just picked up the gun, two sticks, let me just... What? There you go, put it back on the counter here, there you go. There you go. You were touching it without glove? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. No, 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 no purpose, leave me alone. It's okay, I also touch it without glove. It is covered in, like, uh, uh, clay and mud, and uh, I actually want to wash my hands at some point. Okay, so, so where'd you find this? Uh, over in the, um, uh, what do you call, uh, grape seed. I was uh, mag magnet fishing, and uh, I I didn't get anything for a long while. Then the, I get something, I pull it up, and it was that very old gun there. It's still a little, a little wet, you know? What's your name there, bossman? Uh, uh, Nikolai Kulokov. Can you... Can you write that out for me? So... So Mr. Kulikov was in? Y yes! Okay, so, uh, so j just and uh, ask me just for curious uh, sakes. So, what you found this and you brought it straight here? Did you try to call that one? Yeah, my phone uh, died while I was uh, driving up here, and then uh, gotcha. I just left in car. So I figured, yeah, I know what station. Are you good here, Carter or Jacobs? Yeah, thank you what? for confusing me with Carter. <laughs> Twenty-four Union, we're gonna be in round. Sorry. 
Goodbye. Uh, Mr. Kulikov. So, if you could just write down on that paper all of your uh, contact information, just so we can contact you in the future related to anything you get here. I got to make sure that this guy's safe, though. Yes, yes. No, it, uh, it did not go off in car when I was driving over here, so that is good. Yes, it. Uh, I, uh, I, I tried to mess with it a little bit, but it, it's so covered in dirt and mud, and I, I couldn't uh, do much with it, you know? So I just decided to bring it here. Yeah, I completely understand. Uh, is my number here? Hang on, uh... That's not- uh, that is my old number. I thought I had... I wish I could tell you my new number, but my phone is dead and I'd have to go look in setting, you know? Yeah. Hmm. It uh, looks like oh, very old gun, you know? That's not good. Sorry, sorry, just heard something concerning off the radio. No, I'm no, sorry. You got me completely. Uh, you got me completely here. <laughs> yeah, no worry. Yes. Uh, so do, you, yeah. do you need anything from me or? Uh... Um, I'd prefer to. So, if you just want to contact further, if you want to contact us further with a. Yeah, like if you want to reach back out, you can reach out to the tip line or just call uh, call the front desk here. And just state, hey, I spoke with uh, with uh, Corporal Jacobs from the Criminal Investigations Division. He wants me to uh, reach back out with my phone number. My phone number and other contact information is this, and that's it. It'll get to me eventually. All right? Okay. Yes, I will. Uh, I'll call them and do that once I charge my phone at home. And uh, just out of curiosity, uh, as far as the gun go, once you look at it and stuff, uh, find those keepers. No, uh, no, sir. <laughs> sir, oh. uh, sir sa uh, sadly, including the firearms like this, we got we got to make sure that it is first safe, which it's very hard to do here. Jesus, this thing has clay caked into it. So you found it right off of what was it, the Alamo Sea, or was it like a river or something? Yeah, uh, you know that bridge that has like little dam uh, in in Grief Sea. It was right there. Gotcha. Okay. If you could just uh, bat and back up until I render this thing safe. Oh, okay. I just uh, could go over here, maybe. Is this glass bulletproof? See a little bit of chat here. You guys can catch up there to see what's going on. <laughs> Christ. Okay, this thing is very. <laughs> kind of fun the back and forth here that we're doing. He really wants to clear that thing. <laughs> yep, there's. <laughs> uh, you're very lucky this thing didn't go off in your car. Oh, it was loaded, yes? Yes, very loaded. Oh. A lot of, lot, lot of text RP involved in this because uh, it's, it's a. <laughs> you know, it's a mechanical uh, device, so it is a little, and it's all fucked up, so it's, you know, uh... Okay, Mr. Kulikov, so this firearm is definitely uh, not gonna be uh, given back to you anytime soon, or more than likely is gonna stay in evidence. I appreciate you bringing this in, just make sure to call the front desk with your contact information. Okay, yes, and I will do that. Yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I appreciate you finding this. Uh, you as well. Yeah. If I find any more, I'll bring them right to you. Hey, yes, sir. Please do. Okay, you have a good day now. <laughs> uh, really, I just wanted to do it for, like, the shock factor of, like, they walk into the lobby, and there's just a guy holding a gun in the lobby. <laughs> just, that's the part that makes me really happy. <laughs> Although, again, once again, react to it very well. I'm, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> I 
I think what the hell was that about? It's coming up fast. I don't like this. This doesn't feel right. Wow. That was dangerous. Holy shit. Uh... Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Nikolai's phone is dead though. I don't know what to do here. That's all we can do. Fucking phone doesn't work. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so with Nikolai's phone being dead, I don't know what to do here. Um, I can only follow the truck and hope for the best. Hopefully a cop will see it and do something about it. Oh, we just went into someone's yard. Well, Nikolai's phone might not might be dead, but some local caller could call. So, let's see about uh, nine one one C S D drunk. It's really hard to drive and type at the same time, so please bear with me. This is going to take a minute. Uh, hmm. Oh my god, he's hit a local. Alright. I, uh, I have to try and type. G. C. 911. Drunk. type it but it's, uh, it's hard while you're driving to type these things so uh There we go. <laughs> Fucking BMW driver. Oh, sure. Now he's driving pretty much normal. Shit. Really? Oh, 
Oh, he's running. I just saw him turn down into grape seed. Yeah, he's running. go cut him off uh, or witness him down here he's probably gonna come down sea view yeah if Nikolai's phone wasn't freaking dead this would be a whole different story I don't see him yet I uh, unfortunately had a headache, which we also call a, um, uh, call it a headache, but you know, it's basically, uh, when something is loading in and it freezes up the game. And I had that happen to me when I was, uh, following all that. And I lost them just as I saw them turn into grape seed. He's got to come this way at some point. Oh no, did they lose him? No way! He couldn't have come down here. Oh, maybe he went... Oh, he probably went on the trail that way. Oh man. Follow the sirens and see if we find him. So he must be emptying out over here near the Lost MC. Uh, like, kind of camp area. Where I'd imagine I'd see him. That's just the way they're going to come out. Has to be, right? I mean, no way he's going to take, like, Raddock Pass or uh, Raton Canyon. I. I can't imagine he's gonna take that truck down there. So I've been sitting down here for a couple minutes and I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen a truck come this way anyway. Well, I decided to drive the whole length of uh, Palafia, the dirt road, and I did not encounter that truck or the police. So, he, I mean, man, he must have been flying if he got to the other end already. And, uh, I didn't see him at all. And all those, uh, deputies were going out of Grapeseed, because I saw him go into Grapeseed, and then they were all going out of Grapeseed, so he must have went, he must have gone down Calafia at Dirt Trail, and then, uh, made his way, I guess, south, all I can think of. Alright, well, that's that. Uh, this was just his, uh, uh, Nikolai's little adventure here for Magnet Fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And a uh, fun little encounter with uh, the Sheriff's Department up here. That was a lot of fun. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. It's time for